Ukraine President Zelensky is ready for war with Russia. Vows to stand to the last man. Here's a summary of the article. Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky on Tuesday night and warned his citizens that the country would stand to the last man in the event of a war with Russia, as tensions continue to build along the border between the two nations. Does Ukraine want war? No. Is it ready for it? Yes, Zelensky said during a Tuesday address, according to the New York Times. Our principle is simple. Ukraine does not start a war first, but Ukraine always stands to the last man. On April 15, Ukraine Foreign Minister Dmitro Kuliba warned that if Russia crosses the red line, that it will suffer. U.S. Secretary of State Antony Blinken added last week that Russia's presence in the area has raised serious concerns in both Ukraine and the West. We're now seeing the largest concentration of Russian forces on Ukraine's borders since 2014, Blinken said on April 13. That is a deep concern not only to Ukraine but to the United States and indeed to many of our allies and partners. The Ukrainian and Western media are blowing the issue of Russian military activity near the border with Ukraine out of proportion, said spokeswoman Maria Zaharova last week, according to The Hill. This post received a score of 63,000, with an upvote ratio of 91%. Here are the top comments in response to this article. Does anyone else worry that history has repeatedly pushed Ukraine to do just that? Are we really going to put up with another tragedy in Eastern Europe? Are we going to put up with yet another step hoard, yet another green folder, yet another iron curtain? If I was a Ukrainian I'd be rooting for everyone else to stand and die to the last man for a change. I sure wish we could dismantle Russia. I'm so sick of their shit. Yeah, a Viking invasion is also something to be concerned with. I mean why is everyone crapping on him? What is he supposed to say? I'll surrender immediately to our Russian overlords. Pack it up citizens we don't have a chance. And people saying shit like, yeah and I bet he won't be fighting, well no? You don't send your leader to the front line or else you potentially lose that leader and everything goes to hell. History of kings dying in medieval warfare taught us that much. I hate war and hope it doesn't come to that, but if it does come to that we can't expect a non-combatant who has never been trained to be on the front line. President or not. Edit. Jesus Christ I didn't expect so many replies. Lesson learned. Don't comment on our world news. The fact that the president of Chad died like three days ago while visiting the front lines just highlights what you're saying. And now his son is attempting a coup. Turns out losing your top elected representative is a big deal. Greater than elected representative lol. How can you laugh? The father was president for three decades and the son was a top general and now is the new president. What are the chances? What a talented family. I bet they also have played golf and made 18 holes in one. Glorious leaders. Pretty mind-blowing that this dude was a comedian who got elected because he played the president on TV. And now he's increasingly involved in global events and talking about leading his country through a war to the last man. Being able to make funnies doesn't mean you aren't a real person willing to protect the land you grew up on smiley face. Edit, I am neither for nor against Zelensky as I am not informed enough about him to make that determination. This was a simple one-off hot take haha. That being said, I am anti-Russian aggression. What's the deal with war? Slaps base. No coup for you. Annexed. Well, I'm moving to Switzerland. Goodbye everyone. I'll remember you all in therapy. New Zealand don't you mean? Further away, scenery just as good too. And the wind currents are less likely to circulate in dense fallout from the higher latitudes. This video was automatically created by Reddit to speech. The article and comments in this video were selected from Reddit according to their upvotes, and any paraphrasing was performed by smmry.com, without any human intervention.